There we go. Barracuda catch and release. Thanks. All right. What the hell is this? Hey. <laughs> What's that doing on the boat? <laughs> I go. <laughs> I'm like, why is that in my rod holder? Good morning, Team South Florida Fishing Channel. We're going to be doing some trolling today for early morning Wahoo trolling. Look, it is pitch black outside. It is 5.30 in the morning. The sun should be up around 6.40. And we got Jordan and Blake joining us and they're gonna be showing us how to fish because they're bringing uh, electric reels and we're gonna be running planers with Bonita strips. And we're here in Key Largo, the first key in the Florida Keys, and we're gonna be heading offshore right out to the reef's edge where it drops from like 40 feet down to 130 feet. And we're just gonna kind of zigzag troll just right up off that reef's edge. And we should be running hopefully into Wahoo. There might be some tuna, there might be some mahi, and hopefully we all learn a little something new today because it's always a good time when you're putting fish in the box. But uh, they're gonna be showing up here soon. Honestly, I'm not bringing any fishing gear. I'm just letting them bring their stuff. I'm basically just gonna drive the boat today and film and try to learn as much as I can. So I'm gonna sip on some coffee. Whew, I need this. And let's get the boat fired up. All right, we made it out here to the reef's edge. We got Jordan and we got Blake and um, we're gonna be doing some trolling in 115 feet of water. <laughs> Blake's got all the secrets. Oh yeah, trolling plane. It's on a single hook. Freddie calling sewages. He made all of this, the squids, the hooks. Not much to it, 100 foot a liter, 15 feet of flora. Bonita strip? Yep. Going out on the long. All right, we're keeping it real simple. We're just running two two rods with planers on them. One's a little further back. One's close to the boat. And we're also going to be dodging lobster traps out here because there's a lot of lobster traps. You don't want to hook into yeah. one of those. I don't see any yet. They're out here. I think we got a fish on. <laughs> One morning bite. Bam! Woo -hoo -hoo. <laughs> Stoking right now. All right, so I'm gonna put this in neutral and then you push the plus button on that controller. Ready? All right. There you go. Blake's in the tower, We're running it from up there. All right, two minutes into trolling. We're hooked up already. What do you think it is? I'm claiming, uh, I mean, he's staying down. It could be him. It could be the Wahoo. Could be a Wahoo. <laughs> I think it's a king, though. He's got that big old mouth. Oh, it is a Kuda. Should I gaff him? Old berry. All right, we got ourselves a Barracuda, but we don't really want that, so. There we go. Barracuda catch and release. <laughs> Damn. All right, all right. Put a leader on that one, make sure it's not that snake. All right. What the hell is this? Hey. <laughs> What's that doing on the boat? <laughs> I'd go. <laughs> I'm like, why is that in my rod holder? All right, new bait is out. Blake's up there. Woo. Yeah, look at them. There, there's some fishies down there. And a new juicy strip going out. Yeah. Oh, shit. we got a fish on. Oh, baby. All right. All right. Jordan's playing around with a big boy. <laughs> 158. Fishy looking marks down on the bottom. We are hooked up. Are you seeing yet? How is he not on the surface? Yeah. What's going on here? 
Wait, is that another barracuda? That erase that. Big old barracuda. Man, that hooks in him good. Right in his right in his jawbone. Um you wanna change the no. Oh, there we go. Later boy. Hey, somebody did comment and said, Oh, I go don't even get to reel in a fish. <laughs> what people don't know is that I prefer not reeling in the fish. I like to watch other people reel fish in. We were literally just talking about a little tuna and bam, we catch one. Little Bonita. Wow. Oh, 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 oh fish on! Get on the reel, get on the reel, you're fine. That's him. I'm Woo! Short Should I bring in the, the yeah. feather out? Yeah. Oh, fish on! Right Damn! Point. All right, he's slowly making his way back in. Yeah, he pulled 40 yards on. Nice, nice. You know what? I'm gonna I'm put it to him. Yeah, that's a big one. We don't Damn! Look at that mouth. Well, this one's for the neighbor. <laughs> oh, no. oh, he's up top. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He might be caught in the... Uh... Is that a Cuda? Oh, it's a Mahi! Oh, Ooh, pretty boy. Look at them colors. Oh. Oh. Yeah, he's solid. Oh. Oh. Yeah, he's a he's a if that's a mine, he's a keeper. How deep are we? 170? The Mahi are in close. Oh, he's nice. Woo! Woo! All right. Got him. Another one in the box. Bam! Meat fish in the boat. No, I'm not going to keep this one. Uh, is that a barracuda? All right. Oh, he's hooked right in the right in the lower lip there. <laughs> nice, later, little boy. What you doing, boy? Is that a, one of them bar jack? Oh, wait. Oh, another barracuda. All right, barracuda has been released safely. Takes back in the tower, and we got another fish on. Fish on, baby. Non stop action. All right, planer is in sight. I'm getting a little excited. Like, I don't want to get too excited, but uh, I got a little tangle in my bum hole. Let's go. What do we got? All right, planer is off. Um, do we want them or? Yeah, we'll just whip them in. I'll grab the gaff just in case we got something juicy.
another bonita. Oh, he's a fat one. Yeah, he's been eating. That's good right there. Woo wee! Sliced and diced. There we got some more bait. Perfect. Here he comes. Is that a bonita? Yeah. Yeah. Boom. They're coming in hot, left and right. Shazamel, kablamel. All right. Or what happened there? Or is that just a lot of seaweed? No, no. I don't. <laughs> Another barracuda. some seared wahoo this is uh, from yesterday yeah from yesterday. damn so that's fresh boy I'll take a little soy oh a little bit my bad hmm I like soy sauce Woo. kitchen and big shout out to Blake for cutting up this mahi for us. We are going to be blackening the mahi with our South Florida fishing channel fish and game seasonings. The blackening extremely fresh blended right here in Florida shipped out of Florida. If you want to support the channel South Florida fishing channel .com. And we're gonna do two styles of mahi tacos. One's gonna be like a Mexican style with some refried beans, some cheese, you know, a little heartier. And the other is gonna be more of a, a Keys, peppers, onions, cilantro, lemon, a little fresher, zestier. And we'll see which taco is better. First things first, you're gonna to wanna to take your fish and we are going to dry it out. Seasoning does not stick very well to a wet fish. So pat it dry. Oh man, I'm hungry. I'll also be cutting these pieces in half just to make them a little more manageable in the pan. Kablam. Now we're gonna take our blackening and give it a nice hearty cover. When I blacken fish, I kind of like to, uh, I go pretty hard on the seasoning because it just adds this really nice blackened crust to it once it's in the pan. And it just adds an, an 
enormous amount of flavor when you put it in a taco or a quesadilla or or even just eat it eat it as it is all right it's looking pretty good right there i got some butter heating up in a pan and one little thing a little tip that i have learned over the years and it seems like a very simple tip but i don't know why i just have never I've, i always make this mistake you want all your fish to be the same size the same thickness the same length try to get all your fish the same size or else they cook unevenly and then you'll end up with one piece that's overcooked or one piece that's still a little raw in the middle that's probably common sense but it took me many years to learn that one i'm always like especially with grouper or a really thick filet i'm like ah the thick filet will be fine and then it'll like start to burn on the outside and the inside is still raw so if you got a really thick piece of grouper or wahoo or something cut it in half try to get it like like that's a perfect size right there of fish good cooking size it's time got our butter melted Ooh, nice little sizzle going on we're just gonna put all of the mahi in the pan okay these pieces are a little bit thinner than the other pieces so screw it i'm gonna break my own rule once again <laughs> put them all in there all right, these skinny pieces here in the middle are cooking way faster than the other pieces, as I predicted. <laughs> so, go ahead and flip them already. I let the bigger pieces cook just uh, maybe like another minute and a half, two minutes longer on their side. And go ahead and flip those two. Oh, yeah. Woo! Blackened mahi, check. And now we're gonna take some of these flour tortillas from Mexico, I think. It says a taste of Mexico. Is it actually from Mexico? Made in the USA, okay, uh, <clears throat> Georgia. Mexican food made in Georgia, <laughs> okay. But we're gonna take our tortilla, slap it on a hot pan, we'll get it a little crispy here. And then we're gonna load them up. Our first taco, we're gonna put some sour cream on it. We're gonna put our fish in there, our black and mahi, a hefty serving of fish. Then we're gonna add some onions, tomatoes, and peppers to that. Give it a nice, fresh, crispy bite. We'll take our cilantro, put that on there. Take a lemon wedge, give it a little squeeze. Almost forgot our cheese. This is a four cheese Mexican blend. Just sprinkle some cheese on top. And there we go. That right there is a very fresh taco. The other taco got some refried beans. These are the ones right here. Old El Paso refried beans. Put a bit of that on there. Put a little bit of sour cream on there too. Then we add our fish. And then we're gonna add a lot of cheese. Boom. And we're gonna put some hot sauce on there too. This is Wuju Sweet Heat Extra Hot Sauce. Oh, oops. That was a lot and yeah, a little bit of a heartier burrito style right there. I think earlier I said one, this is like Mexican style and this other taco is more like Florida style. No, I think they're both Mexican style. I don't think, maybe they're a little Americanized. Uh, what do you think? Are Would these be considered Mexican tacos or these are probably considered more Americano tacos? I don't know. I'm not really a taco expert, but let's give the hearty one a try first. Sour cream, cheese, refried beans, black and mahi. This is a little like burrito style. Mm. Very delicious, but it's missing a crunch. I bet some fresh corn in this would make it perfect because then you have like a little bit of a, something crunchy. It's very soft with the, the beans and the cream and the cheese. Everything in this is very soft. Very delicious. I could eat like six of those. Now this, this one just smells very fresh. It's got all these vegetables, the onions, the cilantro, the lemon on there. Wow, it is. it smells like, like a garden. Let's see how this one tastes. Mmm, very crunchy, a lot of flavor, very fresh. Mmm, wow. I don't know if I can pick a winner. I think it depends on, on my mood. 
Actually, if I had a choice, I would want three of these and three of these. I don't think one is better than the other. If I was like starving after a long day of fishing, I'd probably eat one of these first because it just, just feels more filling with the beans in there. This one feels like a lighter, you know, it's just a very lighter taco with all those vegetables. You can see all that cilantro, all the vegetables in the fish. You know, very light, very clean, very flavorful. Mmm, wow. This right here is the blackened mahi that we have left. You know, why don't we just take a fresh bite, this fresh fish, just pulled it out of the ocean. Mmm, flaky, white meat, mm, that crispiness on the outer layer from the blackening. Yeah. Big shout out to Jordan and Blake for coming out on my boat with me, bringing their uh, planer rod setups. I always love trying something new, learning something new. And clearly it was a very, very well producing style of fishing. Unfortunately, we did not get the Wahoo that we were after, but Blake and Jordan, they did stop by in the morning and they did catch a 50 pound Wahoo. This is a little video I took when they were over here earlier, but yeah. The Wahoo are out there, they're still out there. So uh, if you wanna get out there, troll some planters, go catch yourself a Wahoo. The Mahi are starting to get bigger. So it's that time of year again where it's time to start Mahi fishing. I wanna spearfish one coming up here real soon. So stick around for that video and I'll see you guys on the next episode. Cheers. Cheers.